Resident Evil Village is a story ultimately about what parents are willing to sacrifice for their children. Mother Miranda spent a hundred years committing untold horrors to bring back her daughter. Ethan Winters ended the dynasty of four great homes and killed Miranda to help save his daughter. And after all of that death and destruction, what do we really know about that child Rose? This is the hidden story of Rosemary Winters. <laughs> Well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> Rose was born on August 2nd, 2020, a miracle child for both Mia and Ethan after the events of Resident Evil 7. Mia was infected by Evelyn, the mold bioweapon, and had to be rescued by her husband, Ethan. Both Ethan and Mia had to move around a lot as a criminal organization known as the Connections was after them. There's evidence in their home that the couple did move from place to place with Rose in tow and enjoyed even some brief moments of happiness. Ultimately, Chris Redfield placed them more permanently in this Eastern European home under the watchful eye of Chris and his team. As the couple settled in, we see a very important flashback and hear Mia's great concern for their child's health. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No, no problem. We'll be there. We'll be there. That was the that doc. Was the doc. She'll, see She'll see us next, see week. next week. Hey, now. Think positively, positively all, right? all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly, we hardly talk about anything else. else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Later, when exploring the house with Rose, we find those test results the doctor was preparing. Everything seems normal, but there is one strange addition. The fungal pathogen test being sent to the BSAA, the organization that Chris, tangentially at least, works for. It's to determine if Rose has been infected by that same mold that overcame Mia in the previous game. But this flashback reveals a truth we as the player won't know until much later in the game, but is essential in understanding Rosemary's story. Ethan is more mold than Mia. He was reanimated by the Megamycete mold three years ago during the same incident that gave Mia her infection. Ethan died, he was killed by Jack Baker and then brought to life by that mold which gave him the power of resilience without the drawbacks the others had, like Evelyn, that monster we talked about, slowly torturing their minds and making them do horrific things. Ethan wasn't aware of this and isn't until much later in the game. Mia is. So in this scene, she isn't worried about what she might have done to the baby. She's worried as to what Ethan's disease may have wrought upon this poor child which, as we'll talk about later, may actually have been a real big concern. Resident Evil Village truly begins a few days later, after that flashback we saw, with Mia reading Rose a horrifying bedtime story, and Ethan then whisking the six-month-old off to bed. As you explore the house with Rose, there's a lot of hidden secrets you can discover. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Mom got you another new book?
three years ago. I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Hurry up and put Rose to sleep, will you? Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. She's going to grow up beautiful. Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Your mama and I love this song so much. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. I wish it could stay like this forever. Keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. You can see that even though a crisis is happening, this is a family that is truly happy. Unfortunately, those fun cartoons and baby food all have to end as their world gets turned upside down. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! Mia! Mia. 
Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. It seems that Chris is the enemy here, but we learn much later that Mia wasn't actually killed by Chris. That in fact was Mother Miranda who had replaced Mia weeks before. She is the patron saint of a terrifying village that's been creating lichen monsters and dubious lords of death to rule over its people. Moments after Chris takes the shot, the convoy carrying both you, Rose, and the so-called dead Miranda had been attacked, with Miranda waking up and stealing Rose. Ethan must brave now these terrifying monsters of the village to find his daughter and battle with Mother Miranda. As he takes out these lords, he discovers something shocking about the fate of his child. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's of value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. That flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Rose is... Don't say another word! This... This is impossible! This just can't be! Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Who... Oh. Who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? <sighs> Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. He'll pay you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fucking joker. As terrifying a thought that may be your child being cut into pieces, Rose is still very much alive. While exploring an acolyte's home, Ethan discovers a diary entry that explains that Miranda actually crystallized Rose and separated her into those flax to be given to her protector lords, for she was the chosen one. We'll get to that a little bit later. We don't see hide nor hair of Rose again until much later in the game, the ending of the game, really. Ethan now is aware of his moldy lineage, and Miranda is attempting to restore Rose to take the form of her lost daughter, Eva, giving Ethan the chance to save his daughter and then ultimately give his own life. Ah, oh, little Eva, my 
beautiful daughter. Come to me. If... Is that you? Oh, how I've missed you! What? <laughs> My power is leaving me! Rose! <sighs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything... Get her now! Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! Rose is Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I'm in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. Huh. Teach her to be strong. God damn. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go, not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. 
tell me what's going on. Where? Escape. I'm sorry. Why the ritual failed is unclear. Could it be possible that Rose was more powerful than Miranda once thought? Either way, Ethan is sadly gone, and Chris has to fulfill his promise to protect Rose. As the credits roll, we are transported to a bus where a young woman is getting off to remember someone she's lost at a graveyard. That someone is Ethan Winters. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Damn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Oh, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. I want you to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. As the story of the father ends, the story of Rosemary begins, but we still don't know who she really is and what powers she now possesses. There is a really interesting theory that could help explain her origins. Earlier in the game, Ethan has a hallucination of Mia screaming and crying about the loss of her child and the fear she had if Ethan ever found out. Eventually, Ethan discovers this abomination that destroyed Mia in the process of being born. What if this hallucination was a reflection, a nightmare, of what really happened? What if Mia had either a miscarriage or even an abortion, but this abomination was her fear of what Ethan's moldy genes would beget? What if she was afraid as to what her child would become? And what if she was right? Clearly based on the reactions of the agents in charge of Rosemary as an adult, she is both powerful and terrifying. Searching through the concept art of the game though, it reveals even more possible ways the story could be heading. According to this art, Rosemary was intended to wear the jacket and have the ring that Ethan gave to Chris before he died, but Capcom, wanted to create the impression of Evelyn's influence in the art of Rosemary. So they included green in her key colors. There was also an idea that Rose would be fighting some of Ethan's enemies. How is Evelyn, the long dead mold monster, influencing Rose? 
In Miranda's lab, the answer can be found. Miranda helped create Evelyn with a sample of the mold and some of her own daughter's DNA. And since both Mia and Ethan were infected by that mold strain, you can say that through Evelyn, Rose does have some of Miranda's daughter in her and a whole lot of Evelyn. Meaning, like Evelyn, she has incredible powers and control over the mold. This may explain a secret easter egg that can only be found if the game is modded. As Rose drives off into the sunset, the vehicle stops and Ethan's character model walks past. Could this be Ethan's soul returning to the Megamycede that now Rose carries within her? What if Ethan, like we saw with Evelyn, is now Rose's guardian angel, always there to help her thanks to the transitive properties of the Megamycede and the mold? This could be just a nod to the audience, a simple quick hallucination, but I do believe that Ethan will influence and continue in this story in some way. Nothing is certain, but the one thing we do know, the future of Resident Evil will be centered around Rose and her new story. Next up, we are running out of topics. I was thinking maybe to look deeper into the Mega My Seed itself, or perhaps do a video on those Lycan Kings, what we know about them. What would you like to see? I'm Andy Burkowski for VGS.